Hey, we're here. We're here. It's day two. It's day two. It's day two. And the mug is back. The jar is back. So let you know what? Let's just let's just freaking get down to it. I'm anxious. I want to do it. I'm caffeinated. Let's go. We have a request from my dear friend Kayla. And ooh, sunflowers. Ooh, that's nice. Section two is sunflowers. Let's do it. All right, so section two is this one right here. We need a sky. Er, oh, no. I wanna do one really big sunflower, like bam, the whole freaking thing. And then the background have like little sunflowers. Do I need a background color for that? A nice light green? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's, oh, and before I even get into it, you see my pretty earrings? You like them? Do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like them? My friend Meg made them. Like made them. I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna link her Etsy in the description. Go go support small businesses right now because um they need our help right now. So <laughs> do that. Love you, Meg. Bye. Bye. Why am I saying bye? What we're just we're just getting started. Alright, so I have a little bit of cadmium green and i have some white that was hidden under um the the white covering from yesterday because the the top layer dried but the bottom layer didn't so it made this little protective covering and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna mix them because i want like a light green like a real pretty light green oh yeah like a mint green almost we're doing it let's do it okay so happy may everybody I hope everybody's doing all right. I hope everybody's having a good time. Is anybody else like blown away by the fact that it's already May? Like I feel like time is moving both quickly and slowly at the same time. Um, we, I don't, I have, I have zero concept of time right now. The, we, the day, the we, the days don't exist. <laughs> Nice. We have our lovely green background, which means we got to give it a hot second to dry. You know what that means. Dry time break. Alrighty, it's time to dry some dry. It's time to draw some leaves. I'm gonna take my master's touch round brush number six. Apparently some of these do have names. And I just grabbed a crap ton of yellow. This, yeah, this is just cadmium yellow. I just grabbed a crap ton of yellow. And I'm just gonna start drawing where I want the sunflower to be. I'm gonna make this circle of the whatever, the center, what's it called? Center seeds? The middle? Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I just free-handed a purpose, per perfect, I just free-handed a perfect circle. As far as I know, sunflowers are pretty symmetrical, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do one like that, a sunflower petal. Did I call them leaves before? It's time to draw some leaves. Because they're not. Do you like that? Now, as you know, right, we're going off the thing a little bit. Okay, painting on the tape is actually helping with perspective. That's actually really helpful. Okay, cool. Kinda? Sure. Why not? Uh-huh. Got petals, and they're petals, not leaves. That's how flowers work, Andrea. You know basic botany. Almost said anatomy. Okay, it's going into that sort of corner looking thing. And by corner looking thing, I mean that is a corner. You could call them, you could call it a vertex. If you're feeling fancy and algebraic for the day. Geometric, both, it sort of works. Cause you know, you got your, you got your vertices at, in parabolas. And then you got your vertices like where, where two lines meet or, or where two rays meet. And I don't mean my bunny ray. I mean a, a ray, like, you know, it has a point and then it goes infinitely in one direction, but it does have an end point there. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of a, a part of a description of a part of a thing. And we do the math and there's a thing. I don't know what that was either. <laughs> now, a rare thing that I'm doing right now is I'm not looking at a reference picture. It's a little stressful right now. I'm not going to lie. It is a little bit 
stressful. But I know what a sunflower looks like. Man, I've seen a sunflower. I don't think we're gonna have room for other sunflowers. So my apologies, Kayla. It's gonna be sunflower singular, not sunflowers. That is my, my bad. Um, if you want me to paint you some sunflowers, plural, you just let me know. You know what? Shameless plug. I have an Etsy. <laughs> I have an Etsy. It has a lot of glassware and it has some, some canvases, um, but mostly, mostly just glassware right now. I like to do commissions for people. I like to have some direction. I, I'm not great at the, the free paint thing where I'm like, I just, I feel this painting in my bone. I don't have the bone that feels that. Mm. Mm. I don't have that instinct. There we go. All right, so we're definitely gonna need another coat. You know what I could have done? Is painted the green background, laid out some white, where I was gonna put the, I keep wanting to say leaves, where I was gonna put the petals, and then paint the yellow over it so that I don't have to try and cover up green with yellow. Why didn't I do that? I have actually painted sunflowers before, and maybe that's what I'll talk about right now, because my one of my best friends Alyssa absolutely loves sunflowers so this one's for you too girl and I got into painting with a lot of her help because we we lived together the first time the two of us moved out well I guess the time that the two of us moved out of our parents houses we lived together in the city and it was great we had a, a really good really good setup going we had one argument and it was over whether to refrigerate the butter dish. So, you know, if that's the only argument you're gonna have as um, as a, a, a roommate ship, um, I think you're in good shape. I was painting rocks. Like, I had this, I got this bag of like smooth stones. I, I just, I was having fun with it and whatever. Then one day I painted some penguins. I saw a picture on, uh, in a National Geographic of some penguins, some emperor penguins, and she loved it and got me my first like big girl set of paints and brushes. This yellow is from that set. That's how long it's lasted. Because of that, I, I'm still painting. So, so a huge, huge thank you to Alyssa for getting me some paint and for being awesome and and getting me into painting. I'm kind of super loving the texture that I'm getting right now. Normally when I work with acrylic paint, if I see the, the little like raised lines of, of paint, I go in and I try and smooth it out and I don't like it, but I really like it on this right now. It's really cool looking. And then it, it shows like the delineation between between the different petals. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard with calling them petals and not leaves. You guys don't need to watch me just sit here and paint these petals for another however long it takes me to do this. So I'm going to I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to layer this up and we will return momentarily, but for you it's going to be like, you know, now. I just added all of all of this detail and I wasn't recording. And I'm so mad. I went in with the ochre. I gave it some depth. I'm going in with the white to give it some... What's the opposite of depth? Shallowness? No, we don't want a shallow... We don't want a shallow sunflower. What's that nonsense? Absolutely not. We're adding... Intrigue. Is anybody intrigued by... Uh, is anybody intrigued by sunflowers? I keep painting on the tape. The tape is gonna be gone. Why am I painting on the tape? You know what time it is? Just like I talked about yesterday. Big tube. Yep, we're going with black. We're doing it. Mm, okay, we're doing it. Mm. Okay, so while I said I wasn't gonna look at a reference picture, I looked at a reference picture like once. Okay, I'm not still looking at it. I'm just, I looked at a reference picture, so sue me. Okay, I'm going to paint sort of a, a black ring. You're not gonna die in seven days. That's where I should put like a really creepy effect or something, but I'm not that skilled with iMovie yet, but jokes. It was really dark in the middle and then we got lighter outside of that. This is my brown. 
I have very little left, but hopefully I have enough to use right now. Managed to squeeze a little, a little measly little dot of brown, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you the other brush. I, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the other brush. It was another round brush, and you know, it was a brush. Here we go. I'm actually, I'm gonna try and pat it, you know, because we got that like seed texture kind of thing. Because sunflowers have that sort of that sort of prickly look to their center. Looks like you could get scratched and poked by the middle. You know, that sort of like, the beautiful thing that could actually totally kill you sort of thing. You know, like how you think of a sunflower. Okay, so I just looked at my reference picture again, and there's like some, some orangey bits in near the middle. That could really be pretty. Give it even more depth and, and intrigue and other sort of snobby sounding words. I washed off the brush. I am getting a little bit of white. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah! Oh, that's pretty nice. It's pretty. I'm gonna get some like orange. Ooh. You got your orange. That's like real neon orange. <laughs> I would just like to say that I took off this cap, squeezed out paint and put the cap back on and screwed it back on all with one hand because I was holding this the entire time. I'm just saying, okay? You can't see it, but I love it. And you'll you'll see it later when I do the close up. I really like the orange. It's a nice touch. This is this technique that I'm using right now is um called cover up all the crud you couldn't cover up before because now you have more paint. That's the professional term. That's the technical um, term. Now I'm gonna add back in some yellow. I've noticed that I really like layering stuff. It makes things seem more realistic and natural. Everything has layers. We all have layers. We're all ogres on the inside. And you might think, Andrea, you're covering up all of the orange. Well, first of all, I would say to you, I don't believe you can truly see it the way I can because I'm not zoomed in. <laughs> I am not completely covering it up, I promise you. Some of it is still shining through. I just thought it was like a little too much, you know? And like I said, I like the layers. Oh, I, th I threw some orange into like the actual petal part and without even thinking, I called it a petal. I didn't call it a leaf. Hack. Oh, it's pretty. I like it a lot. Okay. It's making me crazy that I have this little gapping of the green, so I'm gonna go back in with some black. I have some thin brown, now that I think about it. Like, it's not it's not as heavy weight. Oh, but I missed the brown already. All right, we're doing it. All right, here's my little thing of brown. Maybe I'll add some black to it, and that'll help. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, oh, well, that's not too bad. <gasps> oh, that's nice. And you know what? I'm gonna give us some white. Give me the white, put it there. Give me the brown, put it there. That's too light. That's better. Uh oh, I'm, I'm not liking it. Oh no! We just keep going in a circle and it keeps blending out. Oh, yeah! Happy accident. I like that a lot. It looks like it has that, that like inner thing and it goes up. I didn't even mean to do it like that and I just sort of kept going. You know what? That's, this is why we don't stop. You know, this is why we don't stop when the going gets tough. We just keep, we just keep doing it, man. We just keep going. <clears throat> you know? Just do a little touch up on that weird extra bit there. I think that's day two, you guys. I think that's day two. All right, that's day two. <gasps> Look at that. We have a sunflower. Thanks, Kayla. Thanks for the idea. All right, so you know the deal. If you have any ideas of things you want to hear me ramble about, please comment below or send me a message on Instagram or something. Subscribe, I don't know, subscribe. I'm, I'm doing this for 30 days, this is only day two. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to say, right? YouTube, thanks, getting people to watch your videos, whatever. Like, subscribe, share. I hope you had a good time watching day two. Stay tuned for day three tomorrow.